we have. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Ryan from Charlotte Yoga. Um, he's our new Wednesday instructor for the month of July, um, and we're excited to welcome him. And I'll give him a chance to introduce himself. Hi, everybody. My name is Ryan. I've been um, a, a full-time instructor in Charlotte for the last 10 years, and um, so happy to be here and sharing the practice with you. And we'll just see where it goes from there. Are you all ready? Sweet. Well, let's get started in child's pose. I'm gonna start with some full breaths in and out. which is always one of the key pieces of the practice. I mean, just learning how to breathe well through things. And just take your hands, walk them over to the right side of your mat. And you're just looking for a stretch through your left side. Reach with your fingertips and pull back with your hips. And switch sides and walk your hands over to the left and stretch. And same thing here. Just be an active participation with the stretch and with the breath. Then bring your hands back to center. And we'll meet in puppy pose. So all you'll do is lift your hips up in the air, shift them forward, and stack them over your knees. And then you'll lay your chin or your forehead, or if you have the space, your chest down on the floor. And just straighten your arms out in front of you. And then you just send breath into wherever you feel tension in your body like the parts of your upper body that are fighting gravity, resisting that sinking sensation. Then we'll meet in tabletop. Let's come to all fours. We'll move through a few rounds of cat and cows. And just warming up your spine. Inhale, start your back into extension. And exhale, surround your spine in the flexion. Really flow to the sound of your breathing. And then you'll draw some big circles around your mat with your hips. So you just shift your hips back towards, let's say your right heel. And then over to the left heel. And then you come forward, and basically through up dog, hips towards your left, left wrist, then over to the right. And then all the way back. And circling around, basically through child's pose and up dog. Just warming up your hips, your shoulders, but also your knees and your elbows. Reverse your circles. Cool. And then back to your tabletop. And you tuck your toes under. And then lift your knees off the floor so your shins are hovering right above your mat. And just hold here. Press into the ground. Tuck the tailbone here for here for three and two downward facing dog. Just press into the ground with your hands, lift your hips, drop your heels, and then walk it out. Bend and straighten your knees alternately a few times. Just warming up your knees, your ankles, and even your hips. You can shift them side to side as you pedal.
And then rise onto your tiptoes and just tiptoe your way to the top of your mat, just little baby steps. Try to keep your palms down on the ground. Walk your feet as close to your hands as you can. And then fold forward. Bring your feet apart, hips distance. And you'll take ragdoll, just grab opposite elbows. And let the crown of your head hang towards the ground. And you sway side to side. And release your folds. You'll bend your right knee and bring your elbow right above your, uh, right above your knee. Prop it up over it and straighten through your left leg and reach over with your right arm and twist open. And pull back with this left hip. Get real long through this left side. And then switch sides, bend your left knee. Bring your elbow right above your knee and straighten your right leg out and then pull back of that hip. And reach up and look up. And then fold forward. And heel to your feet to touch. We'll meet in a halfway lift, push back with your hips. And fold forward on your exhale. To Dasana, press down into the floor with your feet, stand up tall and stretch your arms overhead. And fold forward on your exhale, empty your lungs and bow. Then come to a halfway lift. And then step back into your high plank. It's top of a push up. Low plank, lower to hover and pause at the bottom. High plank, push through the ground. Just one more time, low plank, bend those elbows, lower to hover and hold. High plank, push through. Downward facing dog. And from here, you'll lift your right leg to three point and send it up in the air. And step forward for warrior one. Nice bend in your front knee, nice straightening through your back leg, arms up overhead. And ski ears. All you do is hinge at the hips, send your chest forward and your fingers back. And try to keep those arms striker salute. All you do is straighten your front leg and bow over it. We keep reaching back with your fingers. Warrior two, bend into your right knee and open up. Reach through your elbow joints and the tips of your fingers. Side angle. We'll start with modified elbow to your knee and take your left arm and reach it overhead. Nice long line of energy from your outer left foot up through those fingertips. High plank to low plank. Set your hands down, step your right foot back and lower. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. And lift your left leg to three point. Warrior one. And same thing here, shift weight into the outer blade of that back foot and square your torso forward and lift with your fingertips to get tall. And ski ears, hinge at the hips, send energy out through, your, through the center of your chest and the tips of your fingers. And keep those arms, striker salute and straighten your left leg out and bow. Warrior two, bend into your left knee and open. Side angle, side with modified elbow to knee. Reach with those right fingertips. Get long through that right side. High plank to low plank, hands down, step back and lower. Up dog on your inhale, down dog on your exhale. And lift your right leg to three point. Warrior one. And same series of movements. We'll add one more at the end. And ski ears, hinge at the hips and reach. And striker salute. Straighten your front leg. Keep lengthening your spine into the fold. 
Warrior two. Side angle. You can go full. If you go full with just hand to the floor, bring your hand to the outside of your foot. So more the little toe edge. And then reach. Revolve side angle. You'll set your left hand down, pivot onto your back toes, and then reach your right arm up in the air and look up at those fingers. And then you'll spin to the outer blades of your feet. So you just roll your back ankle so you're on the side of it. And then reach your right fingers back towards that foot. Grounded warrior three. Turn your right foot forward, shift weight into it, push into the ground. Left leg in the air, but straighten through both legs. And then hands down, you'll lunge your left foot back, lift your right leg to three point, and high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. And lift your left leg to three point. Warrior one. And skiers. And striker salute and straighten your front leg out and fold. Warrior two. Side angle. Remember, if you're going full hand to the ground, try hand outside of your foot. Revolve side angle. Set your right hand down, spin onto your right toes, and then reach up with your left arm and twist. And then to the outer blades of your feet, just roll onto the side of that right ankle and reach your left fingertips back towards that foot. Grounded warrior three, pivot forward, shift weight into your left foot, push into the ground, and fold over your standing leg. And hands down, lunge your right foot back, lift your left leg to three point, high plank to low plank. Up dog on your inhale, down dog on your exhale, right leg, three point, warrior one. It was last time through this series on this side, and same series of movements, and skiers. Striker salute. Look for that length. Warrior two. Side angle. And you choose your option, modified or full. Revolve side angle. To the outer blades of your feet, roll that left ankle. Lower your hip towards the ground as you stretch. And grounded warrior three, turn your right foot forward, shift weight into that foot and fold. And then you'll take your left ankle, cross it behind your right ankle. So it's a forward fold, just that your legs are crossed. Try to bring your little toes up beside each other. And then you fold, just a couple breaths in and out here. Grounded warrior three, just lift your left leg back up in the air. And then hands down, lunge your left foot back, lift your right leg to three point, the high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. And send your left leg to three point. Warrior one. Skiers. And striker salute and straighten and fold. Warrior two. Side angle. Just whichever option speaks to you. Revolve side angle.
into the outer blades of those feet. Roll that right ankle, reach back towards it. <clears throat> Grounded warrior three, wait into your left foot and fold over that extended leg. And then you'll cross right ankle behind left. Try to slide those little toes up beside each other as close as you can. They don't have to be exactly beside each other, but it just intensifies the stretch. Lean you fold. Then you breathe for sure. And back to your grounded warrior three, lift your right leg, extend it back. And then hands down, lunge your right foot back, lift your left leg to three point. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog on your inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. And then from here, you'll just walk your hands to the back of your mat. And we'll all meet in that, um, in that rag doll at the back of your mat. And feet apart, hips distance. Grab opposite elbows or let your arms hang down by your sides. So say five breaths in and out here. And then release your folds. You'll heel till your feet to touch. And we'll meet in chair. Once your feet are together, knees hug in, arms up. And then you'll take chair twist to the right. Bring your hands to prayer. And then you rotate and hook your left elbow into your outer right thigh and press it away. Notice if your left knee is sticking forward or sticking or jutting out in front of your right knee, just slide it back in line with the right knee. And take a look up at the ceiling. If that's not too stressful on your neck, if it is, just gaze out to the right side. Chair pose, back to center. And chair twist to the left. Hands to prayer, hook in. Right elbow into your outer left eye. Same thing here. The right knee sticks out further than your left. Slide it back, get those hips even. Yeah, fold forward. We'll meet in a halfway lift. Then just walk your hands back out into that high plank position. Low plank, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, breathe out. And then from here, you'll lift your right leg to three point. And kundalini squat looks like this. You'll step your right foot forward and then you'll bring your left knee behind your right knee. So that foot is off the ground and then just bring your hands to prayer. Stork, you stand up, you lift your left knee higher than your hip, and then send your arms overhead. And kundalini, you squat back down. And crescent lunge, land your left toes lightly at the back of your mat and send your arms up. And then you'll take an open twist. So you reach your left arm forward, right arm back. Peaceful warrior, and spin your back foot flat, left hand to the back thigh, right arm reaches overhead and back. High plank to low plank, cartwheel hands down, step back and lower. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Lift your left leg to three point. Kundalini squat, step forward, right knee behind left knee, hands to prayer. And stork, press the ground away, stand up as tall as you can, lift that right knee as high as you can. Kundalini squat down. 
and press and lunge. See how lightly you can set the toes down, looking for that control. Open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Peaceful, flatten your right foot down and you just lean back and stretch. Chaturanga, high plank to low plank. Set the hands down, step the foot back and lower. Upward facing on your inhale, downward facing on your exhale. Lift your right leg to three point. And kundalini squat. And same thing here in that single leg squat position. Stork, stand and reach. Kundalini's get low. And crescent lunge, softly set the toes down. Lift the arms overhead. Open twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Peaceful warrior, flatten the left foot down. Take it back and stretch. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Left leg, three point. Kundalini squat. Stork. You stand, you stretch up tall through your sides. Kundalini, so you get low. Crescent lunge, control that step back. Arms up. Open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Peaceful and flatten through that back foot and keep straightening through your right leg. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Sweet, you got three breaths here. Feel and empty your lungs. And push through your hands, lift through your hips. And ground back down through your heels. And on your next inhale, rise onto your tiptoes. You'll step, walk, or float on top of the mat. And come to a halfway lift. Now fold forward. Feet apart, hips distance. This time, either grab your big toes with your peace sign fingers and you fold. Or slide your hands under your feet, stand on your palms and fold. And you choose an option, either or. And even with your hands under your feet, you can still bend your knees slightly and hang out in the fold. But then the work is to gradually straighten the knees and engage the quads to intensify the stretch. But you just find your level of intensity and breathe there. And release your folds, heel till your feet detach, and we'll meet in chair. I'll face this way. And then you'll lift up onto your toes so your heels are off the floor. Cool. And then you'll sit on your heels, stay on your toes, and you'll just have a seat. And then once you're seated on your heels, reach your arms back behind you. And you'll do three knee taps, it looks like this. You just try to lower your knees softly to the ground while leaning back a bit. And then you lift your knees. And then you do that a couple more times. Lower the knees. Lift the knees. And there's one more of those. Cool. And then open the knees out wide and try to keep your heels together. And then you'll do the same thing, but alternately twice. So you tap left. You lift, you tap right. You lift, you tap left. You lift, you tap right. Cool. And then from there, we'll try crow pose. 
So you're still in this squat with your knees open. And all you'll do is set your hands down in, on the floor in front of you, lift your hips up a bit, bend the elbows and lean forward. And notice I have four points of contact, two hands, two feet. You can keep the feet down or you can lean forward more, grip into your mat and then see if you can lift one foot. If that works, lift the other foot. If that works, pull the heels up towards the butt. And set the feet back down on the ground. And we'll meet in heroes. You'll set your knees down on the floor in front of you, thighs together. Open your heels so you can sit down in between them. And then maybe recline a bit. Maybe this is more than enough stretch, but you feel it out. If you feel like you can take on more sensation, lean back into your hands. If you feel you can take on more, drop down to the elbows. If you feel like you can take on more, lie down on your back. There's five breaths with whatever option you choose. And breathe into the level of intensity you've chosen. And then if you're reclining, you start to come back up to seated. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Just hands down, hips up. And then lift your right leg to three point. And we'll meet in lizard lunge. Step your right foot forward and sort of to the outside of your right foot. Just so your elbows and forearms are down inside of that foot. And you just relax into that stretch for a few breaths. And then straighten your front leg out and you'll take half splits. And so you just shift the hips back so they're more over your um, left knee. Right leg is straight, flex the foot, draw the toes back. And then you fold as deeply as you like. And take your twist, keep your left hand on the ground, reach your right arm up. And set the hands down. And you'll take a wide leg forward fold. Just quarter turn to the left side of your mat. And position your feet so they're parallel to each other. And then you fold here for a few breaths. Just hang in the stretch. And hear yourself doing your breath work. Then we'll meet in a halfway lift. And you'll take a side lunge, looks like this. You'll turn your feet out a bit. And then you'll sit your hips down by your left heel. So you'll be at the back of your mat. And the idea is to keep the heel down on the floor. You can totally place your hands on the ground if you like. Or send your arms out in front of you. And switch sides over to the right. Then one more time to the left. And to the right. And standing splits. Turn your right foot forward and send your left leg up high. And just gradually lift that heel higher and higher without bending the knee. Keep straightening. And then set your left foot down beside your right foot. And then you'll take lizard lunge on the left side just by stepping your right foot back. And bringing your elbows and forearms down inside of your left foot. Just a couple breaths in and out here. Half splits or full splits. And straighten your left leg out. Remember just shifting the hips back over the knee. They can be slightly behind it, but you just don't want to be sitting on that heel.
And take your twist, right hand stays down, left arm reaches. Wide leg forward fold, quarter turn to the right side of your mat, position your feet so they're parallel, and then you fold. You can go with wide, as wide with your feet as you like. You can keep them fairly narrow, but just like wide, but not like to the edges of your mat, unless you're up for that challenge. We'll meet in a half play lift. You're gonna take a side lunge to the right, hip down by your right heel, try to keep the heel down. We're gonna stay low and switch. One more time, over to the right. And to the left. And standing splits. Turn your left foot forward. Send your right leg up nice and high. I'm just gradually lifting the heel higher and higher without bending the knee. And then set your right foot down beside your left. The heel to your feet out as wide as your mat. And we'll meet in Malasana, which is just a sumo squat or the bottom of a regular squat. And feet are nice and wide, knees are open. Let's say 30 seconds here. You're sitting, or you can stand and squat. So it just looks like this. You stand up, squeeze your glutes at the top, and then squat back down. And then just trying to get it back into the bottom of that position. However you want to work it, stand and squat, or hang out in the bottom of the squat. Or you can even do hands behind the head. Just remember to pull the elbows back, because they'll want to start coming forward to make it easier, like that. You want to keep pulling the elbows back so that you find the correct amount of challenge. It's about 15 more seconds. You'll have a seat in five, four, three, two, one. And have a seat. We'll do five dynamic reverse tabletops. Looks like this. You're on your hands and your feet, but facing up. You want to turn your hands around so your fingers are pointing away from your hips. Your feet about hips distance. On your inhale, you lift. And at the top, you want to squeeze the glutes and send the hips up so the hips are flat, more flattened up towards the ceiling or whatever's above you. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Press into the ground with your hands and your feet. Exhale, you have a seat. Just three more of those. Press the ground away. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Squeeze those butt muscles. Exhale to lower. Just one more time. Inhale to rise. Exhale. And you come down. Sorry. And then lie down on your back. Let's say 60 seconds of core work, whatever you like. So you can lay down and do some bicycles or just regular crunches or 30, 60, 90 legs where you're lowering at each angle and pausing. You can do alternate scissor legs. Lots of options. It's about a minute. And you're looking for a pace that works for you. So you keep that, um, that energy moving well. It's like sustainable work where you're not burning out with like 30 seconds left. It's about 20 more seconds. And you're done in 10. Done in five, four, three, 
two, one. Man, take a full body stretch. Treat your arms overhead, extend your legs, lengthen your abs back out. And we'll take modified half pigeon. So you'll take your right ankle, cross it over your left knee, and then reach through and grab the back of that left thigh and draw your knee into your chest. And if you want more stretch, you can always um, keep the hand position, but reach through more and grab the front of that left shin and then pull that knee in even closer. But even if you do that, make sure the right knee isn't collapsing in towards your chest. You wanna push it away. So that's opening out more parallel with you, more parallel with the floor. And switch sides and take that left ankle, lay it over the top of your right knee. And grab the back of that right thigh, draw your knee into your chest. And if you need more stretch, remember, just grab the front of that shin and pull your knee in closer. Just mindful that at the same time, you're not letting this left knee collapse in towards your chest. You wanna keep it moving out. And then hug your knees into your chest, rock up to seated. And we'll meet in a wide leg seated forward fold. Let's take your legs wide into a nice V. And either flex the feet or point the toes, energize the tops of your legs. You hinge at the hips or from the waist and you fold. Maybe just down to your hands, maybe elbows and forearms, or maybe you can bring your forehead all the way down to the floor. Either way, five breaths in and out here. And come back up to seated. And we'll meet in butterfly. Feet together, knees apart. You can slide your heels in close to you or you can slide them further away from you. And just lay the feet open. And then maybe draw yourself into a fold or maybe stay upright. Either way, use your outer glutes to open your knees wider. Just drawing your thighs closer to the ground. Okay, and then sit up. And you'll come into a comfortable cross leg seat. Rest your hands on your knees and draw your shoulders back. Then you just take five deep breaths in and out. It's real even with your inhales and exhales, whether it's four count in, four count out, or five count in, five count out.
and then bring your hands to prayer to your heart. Be co-customers. I hope that you've enjoyed your, your exclusive yoga practice. Um, I hope that you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through this practice. So long. Namaste.